Quick story. A girl and a guy met and fall for each other. They both love music, so decide to work together. And they were pretty good at it. Now on the surface, everything looked perfect. But oh, the stress of the city. So they decided otherwise. They packed up and left for the countryside. And that's where we meet this family, raising their children, growing their own food and their business together on a quest to find a new normal and a new sense of happiness. And if you're looking for the same thing, then join us and we can unpack this thing called life together. Where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I'm Shamel Olwago, my husband's Amondi Olwago, and together we are Nilochi. And this is ZQuest. Hello and welcome to another episode of ZQuest Exclusives. This is actually the last ZQuest Exclusives of the season, isn't it? And we'll be back for season yeah. two. Yes, it is. In the spring. So, what are you saying? No, I'm good, you know. Um, I'm actually not saying anything particular. Um, well, you know, just uh, all the madness at the moment. And mm-hmm. I'm sure that people are... You know, going through this, you know, uh, pressurized times, you know. It has, you know, this is the first time as an adult I actually felt pressure. And I, that's saying something. Yeah. Maybe my life was too easy, but I'm talking about this type of pressure. No, yeah, it's possible. You know, I, had, was, I had pressure in, in like work or life. Yeah, personal but, life. But, it is. but not political pressure, dare I say. Well, I didn't, I didn't feel... Move, I wasn't moved. I wasn't moved. I, I, I think I obviously th- life as a as, as a black person, y- you're gonna have certain. There's a certain amount of hardness that brings to you because yeah. it's like you get used to discrimination, which you shouldn't. But it's just the truth. You get used to knowing how to deal and maneuver with everyday life as a black person. Yeah, but yeah, this is something else. Well, the thing is that sets us back as oh, black people. Um, I believe a couple of, uh, couple of, you know, years. In our life, the stress. Cent- century back. No, as far as what's going on at the moment, um, at the moment not, not necessarily stress in terms of, of, of what's the narrative. Um, at the moment, we are talking about, uh, you know, mandates that are put on people, generally speaking, um, you know, for the benefit of somebody else, really. You know, and I mean, it's, it's doesn't matter if you for or against it. It's for the benefit of of, of uh, you know uh, pharmaceutical businesses. Uh, they're, they're the one to that stand to make the most money out of this whole entire situation. Yeah. So when and the reason why I'm making the link I'm making here is what well, us as black people, when people used to uh, uh, colonize our country or put us on the slavery it was at the benefits it was still a financial it was a financial it was, it was a, financial a financial move it, it, exactly it was a financial it move it made so much money it made so much money um, and it, it set, was the crypto uh, of its time exactly and, it set, and, and, and they were selling people instead of tokens <laughs> exactly they were t- 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 the next thing on, on us you know what I mean and what I'm saying is that it kind of sets us back in terms of um, feeling that our own body uh is not our property. Our uh, we are losing our right of a few few people that feels they need to make make more money or feel threatened about what the fashion financial status uh, where the financial status uh, is now at the moment because they they mismanage this this advantage you know they had and and there we are now they're trying to you know push forward something like they never had a cushy situation in exactly. the beginning because the setup's been cushy well they don't like to be on the losing end losing when when have losing they lost they, they, well, they, they don't want to even start entertaining it so that's why this is happening start I think this is more than that oh this is more than this now but I'm just saying that that's agreed that's, at this point yeah look how much chronic diseases we have in the world yeah that's true. you've been eating yeah yeah you've been eating so this is this is something else. This is this so, is something else. Yeah. But what I would what I would say is, as as a black person, I've been thinking to myself, wow, I feel I feel I feel some sort of way. Yeah. Dare I say some sort of you know, it's triggering. Oh, it is very triggering. Yeah. yeah. But then I'm thinking about every other persecuted race on this earth 
What what are they going through right now? Anybody who's had their in the history of their peoples had a mandate that's that's been in some way affected their rights for their body. Well, you know, the, is it eerily the same? Uh, are you feeling uh, some sort of semi flashback? Are you like, oh, this is what Granddad was talking about? Well, you yeah. know what I mean. Well, you know what? That's what I think he says. Because I'm just bad like, yo. Because, because I think that ultimately it's uh, it's it's um, people's freedom that's requisitioned. Though it depends where you are. It's it because it, funny enough in Africa, not going through this. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. That's true. But I'm just saying that you know it's clear that that it feels like a setback. You know, like it feels like okay, what's going on here? I know about this thing. Yeah, is this I know is this is on. history? I don't like this. Definitely feeling. rhyming again. Yeah. So it's not discovery for us, and I guess that's probably why they find it hard to understand what we saw um, guarded about against. Oh, you know, skeptical what, in the first skeptical place. Skeptical against uh, what they, they're trying to do, and you know what about their intentions? Yeah, their intentions, and rightfully so anyway, because um, the science is the science, and and at this point, you know, the science has proven itself in terms of what uh, the outcome all the potential that come of, of uh, those mandates could be. Um, you know, besides the vaccines, even, even uh, perpetual lockdown for people or discriminations or uh, segregation, segregating people will have a, Every time an impact on, on people's uh, psyche. health, yeah, mental health psyche, yeah. It will. I think this and, is going to... I think this is going to scar the people in the yeah. long run. I think it already has. It's definitely changed the dynamics in our family. And I'm not saying just our immediate, like just, you know, us in the house, knocking around. I think yeah. it's, it's what it's brought about for us is a deeper sense of um, appreciation for one another. Yeah. And for the time we spend with one another. Not that we were people who did. We, we, we've been together, together, together. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, all, we, we are close like that anyway. But dare I say we closer now? <laughs> I was like, I didn't think it was possible, but here we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. even with it, it, it now, with obviously. with the rest of my family now, like I put down the I, I never used to joke around with "I love you" anyway. Yeah, because I know how life is, so I always used to make sure I'd say it. When you can say it. But now, that's like they be answering now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, is that right? I love you too. Man. I love you too. Be like, wow. Yeah. Look, <laughs> I, 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 I just think, you know, something, I mean, you know, it's, it's, this situation resemble every single, single situation um, the, where people, freedoms being requisitioned. Um, yeah. You know, when you segregate people, where um, you are oblivious to the to the truth, where people are numb, mind they when you when you um, they hypnotize people, take away the ability to even for 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 some of them when you you basically you brainwash them, they are brainwashed into into thinking that there's no uh, alternative way. Then, uh, whether lockdown people or vaccinated people, uh, you know. I think that to, when you say hypnotize, the, you're going to get millions of eyes rolling at the same time. What? But I think, I think more more so than anything, that you've disgusted people from from facts. Yeah. You've disgusted. You've, if you shove enough facts at anybody, yeah, to the point where you've bombarded them with it. There's gonna come a time where they're like, okay, no more. Yeah, but you know no what? No more in any in any shape or form. No more. So now you've left it open for people to be like, I don't care about the facts. I think it's a form of. You see what I'm saying? It's like a, they've 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 done it so much because they know if they bombarded us, if they kept on bombarding us with yeah, quote unquote facts yeah that most people would get so lost in it they'd just be like well i don't know anyway well I'll t- well i don't know and then they'd throw their hands up and then would be where we are today yeah but it's a, it's, a, it's a form of mind manipulation at the end of, of the course day. it is it's it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's it is still a technique and it's effective and this is why uh do you know it's funny we're talking about this because i remember not so long ago i was like uh oh and i think i talked to you about it i was like 
Do you know what? Back in the day, doing this type of advertising was illegal. You would be, uh, and I'm talking about general product, you know, on TV, this company comes and clearly lie about the product. And I remember I, I was like, this was actually illegal. If you were doing things like this, you couldn't do a, well in French, you used to call it a publicité mensongère. Well, and you were we not use false allowed, advertising. False advertising, exactly. And you were not allowed to do this because you can be taken to court and, and it can cost you a lot of money. So companies never used to do it. And I saw all the campaign around uh, Everything. The, the, the vaccine to or and whatever from. else, Is other things. The because the vaccine is still a product. It is there. Whether you pay for it or not, you do indirectly pay for it. People think, it's for free. No, it's not. You pay through your taxes. The government has paid billions to have, to be first on the list. Yeah. And they even complain when they're not. They say, yeah, well, we, we were first on the list. And I you said you match it. All the, right? You gave all the first, you know, um, vaccine rollout to this country. How dare you? Well, you know, fabricating the vaccine so it's only normal we serve ourselves first. And then you get India come in and say, no, we doing, we're making most of the vaccine for the rest of the world. And guess what? We, our people are not vaccinated yet. You see, there's yeah. all these things about yeah, yeah, these yeah. arguments they, they're going through. Yeah. And then, um, and I remember that when I used to see this advertising, I was like, how is, how is that possible? And I feel well, like- Well, you know now, because we, now they have- we, the We gravitated, the, um, you know, there's the, um, I think it's called, they say so in France, but I think there's like a couple of, um, um, you know, the people that regulate the audiovisual mm -hmm. uh, companies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. The TV Ofcom stuff of like it all, oh, yeah. I don't remember the name wrong. Well, in word, England, it's Ofcom. Exactly. Basically, they're the one that comes to, like, um, that clamp down on people companies was trying to to lie about certain stuff and you but know this time it's different though it's but, not a company no i know it's not a company but what i'm trying to make okay no that's what, my point what, to what, you what, what, that's why it's different it's not a company it's it's now a campaign and there's no rules against lying in your campaign well, i agree i agree i agree with what you are saying definitely but the point I, i'm making is by stopping clapping clapping down on companies for the past you know, five years or ten years leads to people in their mind getting used to a standard of being lied to lied like to we all and, know you know do you think we've got used to being lied to I by so. absolutely by our the by our governments and our um medias do you think we've got used to being lied to yeah and i don't think it's just government and media i think generally speaking if a company want to sell your product there's always a, a always a, a, a some sort of even if it's a white lie it's like there's always something off about it well this is what's and the difference allowed? between a lie and an over exaggeration a stretch of the imagination and that's the that's where they skirt the the yeah, rules, I guess. Some starting clearly lying about the product. D clearly, like absolutely, an absolute lie. Yeah. You know, um, like what, what they then, say. But then again, there's what, this weeding out that we go through now. So say that the product has been lied about, yeah? Yeah. Say you go on Amazon, you order something, your product's been lied about. Yeah. Yeah, you only have to go to the comment section and see, yeah, this is a crock of shit, blah, 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 blah. And then quickly it's kind of just weeded out but the problem is not that the problem yeah. really isn't because people will find out word of mouth will go around people stop buying your product what do you do when the powers that are supposed to be looking after you are in that and when we are used to as as as, as voters just accepting that all of them look lie but don't you think it's deliberate meaning that okay if if I'm planning, if I got if I have a bigger plan for the future, and I'm like you know, and they do that in politics a lot between parties, like sometimes they want to know that person, um, you know, is doing um, uh, mismanagement of funding or stuff like that, and another party knows it and they don't want to use it because right now they're probably doing the same thing or planned on doing the same thing in the future. Mm -hmm. So like you know. We usually don't, you know, turn on each other for those things unless we want to win an election. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is like there's this thing where um um I think I think it's it it was set up 
couple of years back where you let let things slide and you don't do nothing about it and you know there was no clam, clapping down i mean even on, on, on take social media or certain uh, we say fake news and stuff like that but before fake news fakes fake advertising it's like a heavy thing